Hello and welcome back to 100 Set Info. In this video, I will show you how to connect your DJI Mic 3 onto your phone. And let's begin. I am not going to lie, the process of doing that is quite complicated, but I will try to get through it as smooth as possible. First of all, let's get our receiver, let's turn it on. And when we turn it on for the first time and it's not connected to any kind of application, we should see this information that we need to, to scan QR code to download the app, then connect the device for better wireless experience. So let's do just that. Let's go into the, our, our camera, let's go into our Google Lens, and let's scan the QR code. So we are now transported into this site here. And we can go and download android.app. So let's let's maybe not sign in. Let's try to hit download once again. And as you can see, we already have this file. So let's just click it. And now we are installing the application. And as you can see, it's staging the unknown application. And just don't you worry, it's, it should be working. Now, of course, this is tutorial for every single Android phone. I'm not entirely sure what's about iPhones, but I'm guessing you want to install this application from the official Play Store site, uh, not the not some random that app application. Because if I remember correctly, this doesn't really work for the iPhones. Okay, now let's open the application, and we now see the DJI Mimo. Let's agree. Oh, we can actually reject, that's quite interesting. Uh, let's go into do not consider. And now we are loading resource file, which should take, as you can see, pretty quick. It doesn't really take that long, luckily. And now resource file loaded successfully. And finally, we can connect to capture. So let's try to connect. We have the ability to download and edit. And we have our profile, we also have some home screen design update information, but let's just ignore all of that. So, let's connect to our device, we can go into confirm here. Let's go into the settings, so let's perform this swipe from the bottom to the, uh, to the down, from the top to the down. Let's scroll into connect to app here, let's go into connect to app. And connecting to app will disconnect from current devices. Let's go into confirm. And we are now ready to connect. So let's try to get into our Bluetooth, which should be right here. And we should be able to see the microphone. And we do. So let's go into DJI Mini 5 Pro. Let's go into pair. And after a moment, we should be able to pair with our microphone. So let's wait for a moment. As you can see, it does. It is taking quite a lot, a long time. So let let's cancel it. Let's go into once again, and let's try to perform the pairing once again. Now the pairing, the microphone disappeared from the list, which is quite interesting. But we can try to ready to connect once again. Uh, as I said at the beginning of the video, the process of connecting to your phone is pretty complicated. And this is the part I meant. Like, you want this to work, but it doesn't work. So it's quite annoying, so you don't really know what to do. Which is quite unfortunate. Okay, so I have paused the recording and I now know what was my mistake. You do not really connect through here, instead you want to go into your application. That is not our application, this is our application. And while, while it's ready to connect, we simply click the... Oh, we didn't really pad to click anything, but we want to click this icon at the bottom. And now we see our microphone, so let's go into connect. We are now connecting, and now... We can go into confirm, so let's confirm, because the codes do match. We want to authorize access. We can open with wireless settings, for some reason. Let's try to get into the application, maybe. 
and we have failed <laughs> let's get once again through the ability to search and connect once again the process of connecting your phone to this is so incredibly weird and complicated for no reason at all and as you can see the device has not been found which is quite interesting let's try once again and we can always click help for more information so let's go into action series but we basically have some very very basic information about restarting things and all of that so even with the microphone yeah there is plenty of information of course if you want you can always pause the video but i am not going to do that let's instead try to restart the connection so let's go into the connect to app let's go into confirm so this is now ready to connect let's once again go here finally let's click connect and let's confirm the request because it is indeed correct like the numbers do match let's open with settings this time finally let's go and connect and finally the connection is successful Oof. that was quite a long ride wasn't it now we have the ability to change few settings usually you can do these you can change the settings from via the receiver itself but now we can have a nice access to it from our application here like changing the gain, changing the monitoring, changing the name, seeing the battery, enabling the time code, and all of that. So that's all for this video. If you found it useful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching. See you next time.